Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back with another video. In this video today, we'll be finishing Call of Duty World War II. Finally, it's the last mission uh, of the campaign. This one's called the Epilogue. I thought I knew. So I got a feeling we're gonna see some stuff in this mission, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about on the screen there. Um, what I saw will stay with me. For yeah, a man. Yikes. Survivors said that the other POWs, including us, were oh, taken no. to a smaller camp three hours east. Oh man, yeah. All I could do was hope he somehow made it. Yeah, I mean, I don't really, I don't think I need to fill in the blanks for you. I mean, I haven't played this, I haven't watched this mission, I have no idea what happens, but... Last one. It's the last camp I got? Oh my god. This looks more like a labor Oh, camp. we're, oh no, please don't be like this kind of thing. We're gonna see some stuff in this mission. Mm. I just, I mean, I don't know that for a fact, I get but... The feeling it's deserted. Oh my god, I can't do this mission. Seriously? See, what? I mean... Alright, I need to say something about this. So, first of all, you should... I don't know, there could be nothing to this. But if this is what I think it is, and what I think they're gonna show here, this is pretty... Pretty rough. Um, so just keep, you know, you might not want to watch this mission, this video. I mean, then again, there could be nothing in this, but based upon... What I'm hearing, uh... There's some, there's probably some stuff in this one. Um, so, you know, I think a lot of games, just before we do this one, because this is the last mission in the game, or last video I'm going to do of the campaign. Um, I think that there's a lot of games that have had really controversial, like GTA has always had controversy. Certain Call of Duty missions have had controversy. I don't know if this was controversial because I haven't I've purposely not read up about this game because I wanted to not spoil any surprises. But this mission here, if it's what I think it is, I mean, first of all, they've been pretty respectful so far with the game. Like, there's been nothing that's so ridiculous or over the top. It's been pretty good. Um, but if this mission, you know, obviously if it's what I, about what I think it's going to be about here, um... I think I understand why, because that's like, this has never been in a call. I, don't, I can't even think of a game where this topic here, that's, I think, what this mission's going to be about. I can't think of any other game, and rightfully so, where that's in it. Like, even any other World War II game, any Call of Duty game, they usually never would talk about stuff like this. Um, but in a way, I think that, you know, you can have whatever opinion you want. First of all, I don't think it should be part of a game. I really don't. But... In a way, I think that, you know, like if you think about, like, World War II and, you know, it's, as time goes on, it's starting to become more and more part of the past, you know what I mean? And, like, so, like, you know, my generation and the, and I don't mean to be, like, all philosophical, you know, about this, but I think that, you know, like, the last few generations, you know, everybody knows about this, but I think as time goes on and, you know, because, you know, these games are predominantly, you know, younger people play these games as time goes on, you know, younger people are less and less aware of, you know, of this, of what went on um, in in World War II overall, not just that part of it. Um, and, and I think that, you, you know, if young people, if they're playing these games and that's how they're experiencing this stuff, like I think that having a World War II... It's a, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is it's almost teaches you a lesson. Like, you know how... Like, Battlefield 1 really showed you, like, you know, World War 1. Because I don't think there's ever been, really been any World War 1 game. But I think, like, as, as that stuff kind of goes further and further into the past, I think that the game can kind of teach kids, you know, because, like, as kids, you know, get older now and play these games, it kind of teaches you that, you know, hey, this stuff went on, you know. So it's it's not just all about the action. I think they're trying to teach you something as well um which i can kind of see what they're doing and why this is the last mission and i don't know what happens in it i mean i hope it's not hope zussman's all right um but i don't know i can kind of see what they're doing i wish this wasn't part of the game but anyways alas here we are so let's just try to finish this and hopefully it's not over the top but i mean they've i guess i see what they're doing you know they're trying to you make sure that it doesn't kind of like fade away that this stuff went on so that, you know, people don't forget uh, about it. So I guess it's, I guess there's kind of like a teaching element to it. But anyways, I hope, like I said, that this, uh, 
This is just, I've been going on for five minutes about this. Oh my god. Um, but um, you get the idea. I mean, I it's 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 rough. So I, I I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, I guess it's if that's what they're trying to do, like you know, educate people about what went on, then I guess there's something to it. Like you don't want to just needlessly have this be part like a part of a game because there's really nothing about it that's really a game. Um, but you know. Um, yeah, I guess that's what I would say. So if that's what, if they're trying to do something positive by including it, then I guess I see what they're doing. But other than that, you know, this is not this is not pleasant. So, anyways, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get started with the mission, and hopefully everything is uh, all right. It's still burning. They must have just left. There's a barracks over there. Daniels. Styles, check it out. Oh wait, am I Daniels? Who's that? Pearson, Aiello, Styles. Okay, so I had no idea that the main character's name is Daniels. I thought I'm like ten different people in this thing. They wanted to hide whatever happened here. Okay, yeah, we're really selling it hard now. Other thing I want to point out before anything happens, uh, if you ever watch the series Band of Brothers, this is like the, ex they pretty much, this is game is a carbon copy almost of Band of Brothers. So Band of Brothers starts off on D-Day and ends up with a mission that's exactly like this one where they go into one of these places and see some stuff. And like kind of the whole thing, it's like almost like they copied it, like the same kind of idea, like just a group of guys going along, you know. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. No. Our guys. Take out your camera. The world's got to know. They had them living worse than animals. From the looks of it, they were beaten, starved, and worked to the bone. Nazis had murdered our boys in cold blood, and no fire in hell could burn away the stain. I'm guessing they made an example out of them. They'd slaughtered the weakest, anyone that was slowing them down. Daniels, over here. Daniels, you gotta see this. All right, and we're gonna find the tracks lead to the fields. That's where they must have marched. Oh no! And that's where we're going. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Corporal. I made a promise to Sussman. We'll find him. I just can't guarantee we'll find him alive. Sergeant, I'll take point. So this is still a cutscene. Everything's coming full circle. All I done, all I wish I'd done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. We need to head home, baby brother. I don't understand this part here. I don't understand. Like, Ball. Is that his? I don't know. Is that his brother? Oh, I see. You died right there in the snow. All because I couldn't. Wow. Couldn't. Damn it. I'm coming, Zussman. Wow. You're not gonna die, brother. Not now. Not today. Pause it again. Uh, so I don't understand why they're yelling. It's just like, how do we know he's here? I mean, I 
I don't want to speculate that? on this stuff. I just, I, I, I don't know. I just, yeah, it's tough. Oh, 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 I get, okay, now I see what's going on. Is that him? Red, take the shot, take the shot, take the shot. Is that him? Is it over? You must be dreaming. What they do? Plot, you were left behind. I'm only die alone out here. Drink some. Be easy now. Okay, come on, let's get on. Into the jeep, come on. Demo, demo, demo. You always looked out for me, Paul. And I reckon you did today. Because there's only one thing that keeps you going on that long march. And that's having your brothers oh, beside wow. you. Oh, wow. When history called, you answered. Wow. From all walks of life, you came to defend peace and freedom. I thank you. And the world thanks you. Wherever your path takes you, know this. You will always be amongst a brotherhood. Well, this is it, fellas. Wow. Trust me, one you to have it. Yeah, you'll need it more than me. You got a kiddo now. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Wow. Be fine. Gentlemen. Queens! Your prodigal son returns! <laughs> wow. Oh, are you gonna be okay? Gotta say about his husband. Wow. Dad is going home, Sergeant. I am home. What about you? You gonna re up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. You take care of farm boy. I will. Wow. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. And that crazy bastard Pearson. <laughs> crazy ain't the half of it. Huh. If you're ever in Chicago, I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you and Longview first. Wow. You know, when they captured us, it wasn't just our freedom that they took. Even though we were together, and we were alone, looking for any way to survive. But you... Just gotta pause it again. So I don't... I, 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 all right, first of all, this is the, probably the greatest single player campaign in Call of Duty history in all the games. Um, it, it, it's, it's, it's good. It really is. Um, thing I will say is like the finding Zussman part, like I didn't. How much I believe that, like it was just kind of like you just run to a random place in the woods and just here he is out of all the people. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess you don't have to believe it. Like that's, I don't know. This has been unbelievable. Like, you know, I'm verge of tears over here. You could have gone home a hero. Why'd you come back? I saw that life. Just couldn't live it. To the end. Wow. To the end. This is so good. Oh my god. Sorry, I've been I, 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 I've probably been a disaster during this. My apologies. The dream was different last That's night. That's the most. This time we made it home. Together. I can still hear the wolves, Paul. I don't so understand if that was his dad or his brother. You or showed me how to fight him. Who it was. So this belongs to you. 
because the sacrifice you made taught me that a hero will risk it all to save his brother. And you'll always be both to me. Oh my god, this is so... Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. 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 That was, um, holy crap, man. That was, wow. Um, so I don't know what to say. I've never really had a video like this. Um, that was, um, that was, that was something. Um, I think that, you know, I think what I said at the beginning of the video really about, you know, like I, I didn't know what, and it, it, it was better than I thought. I thought there was really going to be like some content in this video or in the mission and there wasn't, they were pretty respectful about it. I mean, that was, that was done right. Like, I think that if you look at the last few Call of Duties that sucked, this one told a story that not only was it true, but it was a story that was told the right way. It was told respectfully. Um, wow, that's really all I can say. I mean, that is... I got to give them a lot of credit. Like, you know, everybody criticizes Activision and Call of Duty and all that. Like, they've gotten so many games wrong. You really got to... You got to really give it to them when they get one right. Like, because it's not even a game. Like, that's a... It's telling a story that, you know... Because, like, like, for instance, like, I got... You know, like, the first Call of Duty I played, really, was Call of Duty 4. And it's all fictitious, the whole story. I mean, it's, you know, obviously. But... You know, it's like, what, it's like oh, 10 years later, I think like, maybe like a week ago, the game was like 10 years old or something like that. And they had the remastered version of it last year. And, it, and I'm not talking about the game. I'm just talking about the fact like 10 years later, it's like still something people kind of, you know, some people playing it or talking about whatever. So you can see how through the years, you know, at least with the young people nowadays, you know, now that there's, you know, like years ago, like in this era, you know, there wasn't, there weren't, you know, video games and stuff like that. So the way that kids are kind of interacting with media or, or I guess would hear about what happened in, in World War II and specifically that content of this mission in particular, you know, is, is that's how you reach the audience, I guess, is through games because that's what the kids are playing. So I think it's, you know, especially with what's going on today or these days, um, I, I think it's a good thing that they're educating people on, you know, that, that, that this happened and it shouldn't soon be forgot. Like those lessons are important. Um, and, and, and they, I, 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 I have had trouble putting the words together for it, but I think really what it is, is that, you know, like the, it's, it's so starkly different than all the other call of duty games. Like this is, and I, I, I think everybody uh, would agree, this is a different, like this is a different, it's different, you know what I mean? Because it's, like for instance, there were, like the first five Call of Duties were all, I think they were all like World War II, or no, or no first, well no, five of, four of the first five I guess, were all World War II Call of Duties, and none of them were like this, and I mean I think, a lot of it has to do with the fact that the graphics are better now, so they can have these more cinematic cutscenes instead of just like the same thing. But if you think about Call of Duty 5, which was like the last World War II game, they didn't do this. Like there was the German campaign, 
but they weren't trying to tell you know like it wasn't as respectful it wasn't as it was kind of grimy and gritty and yeah you know what i mean whereas like this it's 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 different it's very very different you can it's markedly different it's it's they just did it right it's they're trying to tell a story about what happened and it's it was respectful and it was um you know it wasn't over the i guess what i'm trying to say is it wasn't over the top like all the other games for the most part were over the top and like characters with these unbelievable by that i mean like you couldn't believe it like just these attitudes and just just yeah like black ops 3 ugh, ghost ugh. you know like just yeah like it's nice to see a return to just like a wholesome just regular thing you know i think it's 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 refreshing really uh, and I think they did it because I've blasted Call of Duty forever and different games. And even, you know, because as I've gotten older, I kind of enjoy games less than I used to. Like other than like certain games, like I like Flight Simulator, sports games, you know, like Madden. And, you know, I guess kind of games like this every now and then if it's any good. Uh, but, you know, overall, I just consume games less than I used to. Um, but, and so kind of like in that way, I... I it's refreshing because like all the games now are kind of like kind of crap. I mean, there's a lot of just this like, you know, Hollywood over the top stuff and to have something like this. I think this is something that was done right. I mean, I, you know what I would really hope for is that Activision, um, like if they made another game like this, but instead of like this era, like if, because I heard that the next one might be like, present day and you know i don't mean to be controversial but what about like a like a mid-east game you know i mean like, i know call of duty 4 and like the kind of part of i guess like really like one mission in modern warfare 2 had to do with that but it, it was no it wasn't like realistic you know or not not really but it wasn't like well yeah like the, it was a lot of it was kind of fictitious you know like there was this was like really what happened and i think something like that if they did it respectfully the same way they did this game would really resonate or the same thing with the, I mean, I'll say Vietnam. So that's kind of the kind of like, you kind of really get into the swamp part of the pun. Um, but or, or desert storm or like, I like the first black ops game where like some of it was kind of like realistic, but a lot of it was fiction and just real events. Like I think call of duty going forward. Cause Everybody's absolutely hated the whole like futuristic thing that they've done. Fictitious, weird, sci-fi. Nobody likes that. Um, and I think that they could do this again. Like learn from this. I mean, this is, uh, I mean, I think this is a pretty popular game. I've heard really, I mean, I put it this way. I haven't seen any rants about this game. Um, and I think that they could do this again, but with a different era. So instead of like World War II, you could have the Cold War. You could have Vietnam, Desert Storm. Iraqi freedom, enduring freedom, um, inherent result, like any of those campaigns that have happened in the last, you know, many decades. You know, you, you, if you had a game where it was like a band of guys realistically, you know, historically taking you through what happened and really you learning a lesson as you're playing it, that would be a great game. Like, they, I think this is what they should do. Going forward. Like forget all that crap nobody likes. Like, do this, but for, I don't know, like, um, you know, like a, like a, like a, 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 like I said, like a desert storm or a, I mean, you can make this same game. And I think that a lot of it has to do with the fact that this stuff has happened recently and some of it's ongoing, which is why it would be controversial to, to do. But I mean, if you did like, you know, the, the, you know, it'd be started off in, I guess like 2001 and kind of go, went, went from there, you know, and showed like you know, that war and kind of like those events, but do it in a way where you're teaching, you know what I mean? Like you're teaching people in the future that this is what, and like with this, it's different because this is a long, long time ago and very few people, you know, alive today actually were there to remember it. Whereas like with what's going on today, everybody, you know, or in the last 15 years, 16 years, everybody pretty much knows about it, but you could do the same thing. Like you could just, it, it could be, a teaching opportunity, I think. And it's something that, especially with what's going on today, uh, is really could be useful, I think, to help people understand 
this stuff. Like in this game, you saw characters getting frustrated and, and, and just all those things, like the real world things that go on. It's an opportunity to kind of teach young people about some of this stuff. I, I really think that it's, I mean, it's not, I don't know. It was just refreshing to see that, you know, it's something that was done the right way and done respectfully. And it was classy. I think that's the word I been going on for like 25 minutes and 51 seconds, according to my uh, screen over here. Um, I think that's the word. I, that, this probably would have been a lot shorter if I could have thought of that word before. Classy. This game had class. They told the story with class. You know, it wasn't just silly. Um, yeah, so I, I enjoyed that. I think that if they made the same type of game, but for like a different era, for, you know, like um, really anything that's happened since these events and did it the same way, I, I could really, I'd be interested in that. I really think it's, I, I really would, that's, that's useful. It's not just another one of these games. Like the game, <coughs> excuse me, like the games nowadays, it's all the same thing. It's the same, it's the same thing. You know, like all the you know, aliens and wizards. and so, like, I don't play any of those games, to be honest with you, but like I just, I don't know, like I'm walking through the mall and I walk by the GameStop and you see what they're advertising or you on TV, you see the commercials for these games. They're all kind of the same, like science fiction kind of weird things. And this was just kind of like a nice classy uh, a product and I enjoyed it. And um, it's kind of what I have to say on that. I just think that um, I think they did a good job. That's what I like. So. Uh, all right, guys, that's, that was way over the... Nobody's watching this part. You kidding me? But anyways, that's what I have to say. I thought that I should say something because I was, I was pretty... I don't know. I was, I, was, I was touched by the end of that. That was really done done the right way, I think. But um, and, and the other thing is not that... It's not like no game's ever been dramatic like that. It's just that they totally overshoot the runway and go way too far and be way too dramatic. And they get political... And it gets, you know, it goes the it goes too far. It goes the wrong way. It gets, it's too much and it's yuck. Whereas this, they knew exactly where to stop. Like, they knew it was respectful. You know what I mean? It was classy and it was done the right way and I enjoyed it. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you agree with me, disagree, let me know in the, in the chat. I think what I'm going to end up doing is actually making this, like, a separate video. Like, just me reacting to it because it's kind of, this is kind of taking on a, a whole life of its own here. It's kind of gone on for longer than I thought it would. Um, but, uh, yeah, but other than that, until next time, uh, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching.